Good morning, San Diego. Welcome back. Get ready because the fifth annual Vin Diego Wine and Food Festival is coming up this Saturday. And here to tell us all about it, we've got the executive producer here in the house. David Freschetti is here. Good morning to you, Good David. Good morning. Thanks for having us. We also have Sarah Freschetti Williams, who Hello. is joining us. Nice to see you. Thank and you. we have executive chef Brian here from Flagship cruises and events. Good morning. Good morning. This is so exciting. Let me tell you, if you're looking to have some wonderful wine, great food, and great fun, this is the event you want to be at. And this is for the, for five years you guys have been doing this, David. Five straight years. And it just gets keeps getting more and more popular every single year. This is incredible. And what a, what a place to have it. This is over at Liberty Station, where Correct. this is going to happen. Liberty Station, NTC. Uh, if, you, if you're familiar where the... Uh, Ice rink is every yeah. every winter. That we take up the entire courtyard. And you were explaining to me that you guys have managed to bring the top tier wineries from up and down the state of California to come here to San Diego yes. for us to enjoy. Yes. Tell me about that. So coming to you are 75 wineries from Napa, Lodi, Sonoma, Santa Barbara, Paso Robles, over 300 wines. So, you know, try to get through them all, but take your time. Uh -huh. And then we have 24 restaurants joining us from throughout San Diego, including Chef Brian from Flagship Cruises, who's going to be showcasing today. Very so, nice. Yeah. Some of the top, top chefs in our area. Yes. So nice to have you here. What did you bring, by the uh, way, Chef? I brought just kind of examples of some of the things that we serve on our nightly dinner cruise. Uh, it's really kind of the, the beginning and the end of our meals. Uh, I didn't bring any of the entrees, but yeah. uh, some of our selections for, for appetizers, our Caesar salad, and then at the end of our night, we also you know offer something nice and sweet, this trio of dessert, for example. Mm -hmm, right here, um, up here. But we, we, do, nice. we do nightly dinner cruises. We do a Sunday brunch. We do a prime rib dinner. We do a, a craft beer dinner on Friday nights called Hops in the Harbor. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've been doing this a long time we've actually been in business as a company for 102 years that is a long time that is a long time folks and look at this cheese this is fried cheese I was like yeah. what is that that's fried cheese hazelnut crusted brie yeah with a with a oh, port wine fig jam yum David what makes Vin Diego unique you know we're strictly wine and food that's it and we don't mix alcohols so we don't believe in doing that if you're I I make beer as a hobby but Dang. I don't have a Cabernet in one hand and a glass of Pinot in the other. You know, it's it's all about wine and great food at Vin Diego. We figure that's the best way to treat your palate with mm -hmm. great wine and then top it off and pair it with Brian's great food that he mm -hmm. prepares five years in a row with us. Uh, it, it, it's a perfect mm -hmm. combination. I love it. I love the combination. Sarah, you brought a few wines with you. Uh, why did you select these? Any particular reason or just to kind of showcase? Well, I mean, not to play favorites. I have so many favorites that <laughs> right. are going to be at Diego, And I have to tell you, every single year I discover a new one because there's no way I can choose just one. So we brought a few that we're going to have showcased this year at Diego, including Ferrari Corona, which I know we talked mm -hmm. about earlier. Mm -hmm. Right? Love it. Um, but I challenge you when you come this Saturday to find a new one that you've never heard of because I guarantee you're going to find that. We have large wineries, we have small wineries, we have some owners that are going to be pouring and winemakers. Yeah. So you're going to learn a lot. Yeah, and I think is what I like the most about this event. It's not a stuffy event. You can you can just be relaxed. You don't yeah. have to be this wine aficionado. Right. You yeah. can come and learn about the different wines, enjoy some wonderful food, have a great time. Uh, you do need to be 21 years old. Yes. Absolutely. And you encourage people to get their tickets online, correct? Yes, yes. through through the website, uh, www.vindiego.com. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a promo code just for KUSI. If the uh, customer punches in the promo code KUSI, mm -hmm. they take $25 off any general admission ticket. So okay, that's a good deal. Save, yeah. save $25. We sell out every year. We only have a couple days left. We do have some tickets left. So it's going to be a fantastic weekend. Franchella promised mm -hmm. uh, the weather's going to hold. <laughs> she said, you know what? The weather is going to be good. Don't let any talk of rain scare That's you right. away. That's right. Uh, David, Sarah, and Chef Brian, thank you so much for coming by. Thank we'll you. put a My video pleasure. recap and some information on our website, KUSI.com. Should be a good time. Fifth annual Vin Diego happening this Saturday over at Liberty Station. With that, we'll take a quick break and we'll be right back.